Oh, g'day guys. Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Trev. I'm Trevor, down at the River Street boat ramp, Pioneer River. 6.30 in the morning. Hey, let's get out there, eh? near the boat ramp. I've only moved about 20 metres from the boat ramp. I'm tucked right in against it. They've been catching some really good fish here. So I thought I'd try here today. Not much of a tide, so not, no use going out to my normal spots. Hey, keep watching. Let's see what we can get, eh? And there was some good herring there today. The herring seem to have come back. I'll put a little one on. Like normal up through the beak, up through the top. Get him out there, see what happens. Oh, been here what five minutes if that just put the other lines out as well what have we got here oh he's given up a bit of a tussle you don't always have to go far from the boat ramp to get fish here there been a heap of herring around so I thought this is where a few of the fish would be Oh, GT, giant Trevally, lovely, and he's in the boat. in the corner of the mouth one hook out one at giant trevally he's running around four th 420 I will let him go and I seem to be on I've just moved out a little bit further on the other one too by the look of it. Just watch him and see what he does. Whoa. Wasn't getting many bites at the other spot, so thought I'd come to this one. Yep, he's taken off too. A double hook up. Again. Heap of herring around this area, so I thought I'd try here. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Has been raining. <sighs> Up you come. Up you come. Oh, can't put too much tension on it. That one's going off too. Oh. Haven't had time to put the third one out yet. I've only just got here. Queen fish by the look of that. Oh, yep, that's another queen fish there. 
this is where I normally lose them and one in the boat quickly get rid of this one I was hoping moving here I'd get away from the queen fish but doesn't seem to have happened and he's measuring at oh let's see six six seventy hey let him go and the other one Was parked up just over there in the corner. Wasn't getting much, just a few snags. Thought I'd come out here a bit. I've caught some nice fish at this spot before. Bring them in. Another queen fish by the look of that. Be nice to get a barrow here. Come here. Oh. oh, they're putting up a battle. Oh, come here. Not on that. Another one in the boat. Oh, jeez. Oh, there you go. Not that side, that side. Another hook out. That one's even bigger by the look of it. Yeah, he's running seven, seven forty. Awesome. Oh, come here. One hundred seven hundred and forty centimeter queenfish. We'll let him go too, eh? And off he goes. There he is. Water's that clear, you can still see him swimming away there. Like he doesn't even care. Bloody awesome. And this one went off again. I seem to be on. Yes. Oh, lost him, have I? Bugger. Been here a little while. Yep, took me bait. Got him this time. It's been about a minute since the last one got away. He's into the rocks, but I'll let it loose, see what happens. Nah. Oh, yep, I've got him. He went around a rock. I still got him. Yes, I do. A brim. Black brim. Pikey brim, otherwise known as. They're a beautiful fish. Haven't caught a brim in a while. And he's running. Yeah, he's legal. He's running 26, 27. Yeah, 27. Hey, we'll let him go. He's a beautiful fish, that one. Oh, 
but it just put this in the water. It only just hit the water. And I'm on again. What have we got this time? I got a pikey brim just a couple of seconds ago. Ooh. Some good head shakes on this one. It went quiet for half an hour or so. And they started up again. When the shade, when all the cloud come out, when the sun was out, not a bite. Awesome. Not far from the boat ramp. There's the boat ramp right there. 20 meters away. Oh. Come on up here, come. Yeah, wrap around the other line, why don't you? I'm gonna wind that one in, that's my herring jig. I don't want it around the five hooks on that. There were six, but one busted off. Queenfish, third one for the day. And in the boat, awesome. Nice little queen fish. He'd be illegal so is too. Yep, he's running 600. Beautiful fish. We'll let him go, eh? I got some fish at home for tea from the other day. a couple of times this one appears to be on bloody awesome nice cloudy day so it's kept it fairly cool haven't been on the river for a couple of weeks had a few problems all sorted well mainly won't be throwing lures for a while torn a tendon in my right shoulder seem to be okay doing this as long as I'm just winding with it Where's he going? Don't go to the rocks, don't go to the rocks. That's better out there. What have we got? Another queenie, I take it? Yeah, by the look of it. Oh. Come here, queenfish. Not around there. There's another anchor rope. I've got two anchor ropes out. Hold me steady. Ah, oh, yep, and under and over, of course. Come here. Hoping to get away from the queenies here today, but they're around and in the boat. They are not bad eating. I've eaten quite a few of them, as long as they're eating fresh. Big ones, you fillet them, salt, pepper, heaps of butter. He straightened me hook out, this fella. Look at that hook. I'm lucky I caught him. Bloody hell. And he's running. Uh, 620. Lucky. Hey, nice fish. Let him go too, eh? And off he goes.
put it in the water, I'm going to get more bait because I've only got one left. I've been using the beaky rig here. Pulling the bait out of the water near me, putting it on the hook, and catching these. But I seem to be catching it faster than I can catch my bait. First world problem, I'd call that. Can't catch the bait to catch the fish because you're catching the fish for the bait. Oh, it's a beautiful day out today. Oh, not many boats on the water. One just went past a minute ago. Supposed to be rain on the salvo, hope so. Make me grass grow. Come here, fish. Just pull me boat around. Outgoing tide at the moment, possibly half tide. We're going to 1.9 metre low tide today. It's only about a 3.9 metre high tide. So there's not much moving in the water. Whoa, hey, I lost him. Bugger. He threw the hook. Yep, threw the hook. Oh well. At least I got to see him, he was a queenie. And as I said guys, what I've been doing, sabiki rig in, catching my bait here, putting on the line there, throwing out there, catching the fish just out a bit further. The bigger fish are hanging around here because the herring are hanging around here. Awesome. By the look of it, just had time to catch a couple more herring. Put on the line. <sighs> they don't seem to be jumping today, the queen fish. They normally jump, but these ones have been burying deep. They get more power if they bury deep, <sighs> which is fine by me. A better fight, that's what I'm here for. <sighs> oh, he's going for it too. I've got the tension set up fairly tight. I can't do it too tight. 15 pound line. Oh, at least three metres, come on. Must be a flatty. Three metre flatty, you reckon? Yeah. Or a 700 long queenie, one of the two. Yeah. Come on. Oh, he's digging. <sighs> ah, I could see him down there. Yeah, Queenie. It's about the fifth or sixth one today. Hey, they're fun. Uh, 
And this is where I lose him. He's in the boat. Caught him in the side. Strange. Caught him in the side plate. That's strange, must have been going past. And he's running. Oh, six. 650. Hey, we'll let him go. Bleeding a bit from the side, but he's all right. And off he goes. Yep, there he goes. He's okay. Hey, guys, that time of the day again. Time to rock and roll out of here. Just goes to prove you don't have to go far to catch the fish. I'm right next to the boat ramp. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this session today. I know I'll catch you later. You have a good one, eh? If you like what you see, please subscribe. Click the bell for notifications and share if you like. You have a good day.